Hey guys, uh, so this is a video that I've been wanting to make actually for quite a while. It's not going to be anything Gumpla or modeling really related, nor will it be anything like fun or really particularly all that interesting, I think, maybe for a lot of you. Uh, so feel free to, you know, just pass if you're not really all that interested, kind of about like what's going on with me and my personal life. Um, just before I get into it, uh, I know that like even for me to even be making this video, that's kind of one of the reasons why I haven't made it for, I've been wanting to, but I've kind of been on the fence about making it is that, um, you know, I don't uh, need to share my like, personal life with you guys uh, because, you know, this channel is for, you know, Gumpla models, you know, stuff like that, the kind of normal content that you guys are, are here for, uh, I would imagine. And, you know, just my personal life is not really related to that. I do, uh, you know, share with you guys a lot, especially during live streams and stuff. Uh, just, you know, a lot of personal stuff. And I don't really have any problem with that. You know, I know that there's people out there that will say, you know, you don't have any obligation to your audience to share things with them. Um, and, yeah, I don't necessarily feel that I have an obligation to share with you guys. But if it's something that I feel like, like, is affecting my content because I know that you know I hope a lot of you guys are here because you know you like the type of content that I make either the regularity of it or the quality of the content and if those things are going to be affected in any way the regularity or the quality um, then I just feel like it's not necessarily an obligation but I want to share with you guys kind of the reasoning behind that and so that's kind of what this video is basically going to be about not that I'm particularly expecting the quality or the regularity of my content to change really all that much, but just kind of want to let you guys know kind of about what's been going on. So I've been wanting to talk about just kind of uh, basically the past year now, year and a half, uh, almost two years actually, uh, that I've moved now to the US. A lot of you guys know I was living in South Korea for um, uh, 10 years I was living abroad for 11 years, 10 years in South Korea and one year in Japan in between. Right after university, I moved to Korea and that's where I was for uh, 11 years. So uh, a lot of you guys, most of you guys probably know that. I uh, moved here uh, back to the US, which is of course my home country uh, in uh, November 2021. Uh, and so since then, yeah, it's been very difficult, and that's kind of what I wanted to talk about in the video, but kind of what's the catalyst that's finally got me to making this video um, was uh, last week we found out that my wife has breast cancer. So um, that's, of course, been really difficult to deal with. Um, we kind of, it's like last week we found out for sure, but it's been kind of the last... Uh, month and a half, I guess, that we kind of knew something was going on, we were getting it checked out, and then we finally got confirmation. So uh, once we did find out I mean, what it actually was, and we were trying to kind of think, okay, like, what's the best like path forward? What do we want to do? Uh, we know that the medical system here in the US, you know, uh, while there is a lot of great facilities, a lot of great doctors, uh, the downside is that number one, it's really expensive. Number two, uh, it's not really the most uh, streamlined, I want to say, and not always the fastest, not always the speediest. Uh, I think that's also the, just kind of, though, that really depends on your means, it kind of seems like. I feel like, you know, if you're someone with plenty of means, plenty of money, then you probably get, you know, a lot quicker service. You have access to, you know, stuff faster. Anyway... Whereas, uh, compared to in South Korea, uh, where my wife, uh, she's a, a South Korean citizen, uh, and so, and, you know, I lived there for a long time. I, it's basically like a second home to me, I feel like, at this point, because I, I lived there for 10 years out of my now 35 years on this planet. So, you know, it's a significant chunk. And it's specifically, like, all of my adult life, basically. Like I said, right after college, I moved there. So, it really... Uh, Korea feels more like a second home to me uh, as well. Um, so we were kind of thinking that it might be better for her to go uh, and get her, you know, whatever she needs, surgery, treatment, whatever, over in Korea because it's um, a lot more streamlined process over there. The way that the medical system works, number one, they have national health care, which is great. Um, and so that, you know, 
makes it a lot more affordable for one that helps out a lot, especially for cancer treatment over there. Uh, the national healthcare system for that uh, is really good. Um, it makes it, yeah, just so much more streamlined of a process. You know, you don't have to, you know, make appointments at all these different places. And there's like weeks in between and a lot of running around and, you know, having to call different places. You can kind of basically just like go to the hospital there. You meet with the doctor. The doctor will say, okay, you need, you know, this. So you have to go like up two floors to get that done. And then you have to go back down two floors to do this. And you can kind of do it all like boom, 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 like right away, just um, within like a couple of days, which were like here, um, you know, that it would involve like a couple of weeks and going around to multiple different locations, some kind of situation like that. So we decided for that reason uh, that it would be better for her to go to uh, South Korea after meeting with uh, the doctor here and kind of getting an idea of, of what we might kind of be looking at uh, for that, uh, for her treatment, which uh, will probably uh, be a lengthy process. So the thing is that it's too long, like probably the like the ultimate length of the treatment is going to be too long for her to be in South Korea, uh, just because, uh, you know, it's going to be hard for me and we have two kids, um, two young kids now. Um, and so it's going to be like hard for me here with the kids and then hard for her uh, to be away from us too, and her family and everything's there, which is great. That's a really great thing. Is that um, her fa her her parents, especially, uh, is where she's going to be staying with, and she's going to be going to a hospital in uh, Seoul, a really good hospital there. Uh, so that's all great. But of course, you know, being away, the family being separated is hard on everybody uh, for an extended period of time. So uh, probably what she's going to do is maybe part of her treatment there. Uh, and she's probably going to be gone. I don't know. We really don't know yet. Um, she just left uh, two days ago. Um, but uh, probably going to be there for, I would imagine, three or four weeks. Um, hopefully not more than that, but we just don't know at the moment. And then we'll come back and then get some more of her treatment here in the U.S. Um, so that's kind of what's going on with that. So yeah, in the meantime, uh, I'm here with, uh, with the kids. So that is something that will probably just make me a little more tired than usual. Uh, and just kind of be, you know, I'm fine, but you know, it is going to be something that, you know, just makes my life, you know, a slightly more difficult <laughs> for the time that, uh, while she's away and, you know, she's going through all that too as well. So I told her, you know, don't worry about us. We'll, we'll be fine. But, you know, of course, realistically, you know, it does make it harder. So, um, yeah. And the other thing is, before I get any further along in this video and kind of talk more uh, back, just kind of about a little bit more of kind of our experience uh, since moving, uh, I just want to make a point. It's probably even too late in the video. I should have talked about this earlier, but I should make a point to mention, uh, to talk about just kind of how lucky and privileged I am already. So I know I'm talking about like this difficult situation that we find ourselves in, but it's, trust me, it's definitely not lost on me. The fact that, you know, I know a lot of you guys have probably been in similar situations or you are in similar situations right now or in quite possibly worse situations. So, you know, I know this is something that a lot of people go through. Um, so it's not like, uh, this video is not like a, oh, like, poor me, like, oh, you know, all, all the bad things happened to me. No, I know that, uh, you know, this is something that unfortunately, and I've heard from a lot of you guys, you know, a lot of you guys you know, have shared your stories with me about different uh, battles that you've had, either with your own personal health or family members, um, things like that. And I've also heard a lot about how, you know, uh, Gumpla in general, or some people have told me that, you know, specifically my content, but, you know, how the hobby generally uh, kind of has helped people through difficult times, uh, which is fantastic. And I always uh, enjoy hearing that. And I'm sure that will be that it will be helpful for me as I've always kind of talked a lot about uh, that, you know, Gumpla and modeling is very therapeutic for me. Uh, that's one of the reasons why I love it so much is just because I feel like, you know, it, I need it. <laughs> I really need it. Uh, just that time to just kind of be able to relax when you're working on a model. You know, it's, it's a very, um, very therapeutic, a very meditative kind of process uh, that is very valuable to me. So anyway, uh, that's not lost on me that I know a lot of people are going through or have been through very similar situations. And the fact that the that I'm also very lucky just because of the fact that, you know, um, we're 
you know, fine, you know, like financially we're well enough off and that I'm actually able to do this for my job is also extremely lucky. There's very, very few people in the world, you know, who get to do what I do uh, for a living. So uh, I feel very, you know, I, I always am feeling very uh, lucky and blessed and I'm often feeling like I'm really not uh, taking uh, as good as advantage of the, like, fortunate situation that I'm in as much as I should and that like kind of squandering it a bit in that like I feel I always feel like I should be doing better at like what I do uh, so that's been something that's kind of like a just a personal struggle but I mean the fact that uh, I'm able to do my hobby this uh, hobby for a living you know is is also you know something that's not lost on me how lucky I am to be able to do this uh, and share this with you guys and also how fortunate I am to have um Adam and USA Gundam Store uh, to support me and all of you guys to support me. You know, if you guys didn't, uh, you know, keep watching, uh, I wouldn't uh, probably, Adam might have to cut me off and, you know, I wouldn't have that support uh, from USA Gundam Store here, but um, Adam has been awesome, uh, especially, you know, since moving has been, you know, uh, super flexible just with, you know, we've had to, you know, to do a whole lot of stuff since moving. Of course, we had to buy a house and everything else involved with that. We've had all sorts of stuff. Um, we've had just like, uh, you know, with our family, we've had just one car. So that also kind of makes just kind of, you know, dealing with driving the kids around and things like that. Doc doctor's appointments, dentists, stuff like that, you know, with, with one car has been difficult. We just, <laughs> we just, this is another kind of uh, wrinkle in the story uh, with what's kind of going on with my wife is that uh, we just got a second car because she's just about, she's just starting uh, her new job. She was working here at the, at the warehouse uh, part time for a while. Um, but she, since we moved to America, she's like just got her first job uh, at an elementary school here. And she's super excited about it. And then this <laughs> happened. So, like, Right at the start of her new job is now while uh, she's having to go to Korea now uh, for for her treatment and having to and for you know many months into the future is going to have to be dealing with this treatment. So um, very bad timing on that, unfortunately. But her, fortunately, you know the principal at her elementary school where she's going to be at has also been great, like super understanding. She said like, yeah, don't worry, your job is fine. Um, you know, just take care of yourself. And when you, when you're ready to come back, come back, your job will be here. So that's awesome. Um, but yeah, uh, so we, we have been going through that and just to come back around to the point that I was making about how awesome Adam has been, he basically told me the same thing. It's like, yeah, you know, um, just been super understanding, like, you know, do, do what you need to do. You know, sometimes I need to work from home. Sometimes I need to live early. Sometimes I need to come in late, uh, just because, you know, I'm doing, dealing with stuff you know, driving the kids or doing whatever I need to do, um, especially like the past couple of weeks, like while we've been trying to figure out kind of going around with different doctors and stuff, figuring out stuff uh, for my wife. Um, yeah, it's been like just really busy. So there's been periods of time since we've moved where we've just been really busy. I've had to, you know, either try to work from home um, or just like haven't been able to work now and then, but he's been very, very understanding uh, with that, which is awesome because, you know, uh, I work here, uh, you know, eight to five, uh, typically, normally, um, uh, should be, but, you know, I do also work, uh, at home, like in the evenings, probably like a couple nights a week, you know, I'll work from home, just building models, whatever, um, building something that I need to build for a review or whatever, I work from home. So, uh, anyway, all I said, just the point that I wanted to make was that even though I know I'm talking about like some bad situations for me now, uh, I still feel very, very lucky uh, and, uh, you know, uh, blessed to be kind of, you know, in the situation that I'm in, um, you know, having uh, the, what I do have, uh, you know, so anyway, that's what's going on right now. What has been going on since moving, uh, it has been really difficult. I'll just tell you guys, it's been a very difficult time uh, for me and my wife, for our kids have basically been fine. Our youngest, especially who's our daughter, who's five, um, has been pretty much fine the whole time. Our son, uh, who's older, he's seven, he's about to turn eight soon, um, has been like when we first moved, it was a little bit more difficult for him, uh, to kind of adjust to school here. And I think not necessarily anything to do with the school more so like really just like the time difference. Cause they start school much earlier here than in Korea In Korea, he was starting school at 9am 
here he needs to start school at 750 and he's like he needs to be there before that and they actually start class at 750 it's like uh when he first started going to school here just like a couple of months after we moved over like that was difficult and there was like some times where he would say like i miss korea i want to go back to korea so like that's difficult to hear um but I mean, like, even though this is my home country, like I said, I've lived all my adult life over in Korea. So to move back uh, to also a diff completely different state, you know, we're here in Florida. I grew up in Illinois. I went to school in Kansas City, Missouri. So like I'm from the Midwest. Uh, there's a lot of things different here in Florida. And so like it's been a huge learning curve for me. And, you know, I, even though it's my home country and I should kind of know about kind of generally how things work because I had lived all most of my adult life right after college over in Korea, I just kind of, it's been a lot of things that just kind of are new to me, buying a house, uh, doing everything associated with that and all that, especially uh, those kind of things, you know, I didn't have the normal kind of process of figuring that stuff out kind of slowly over time uh, in like in my twenties or whatever. And having kids and doing all that and just kind of dropped here in a, a like completely new environment for me. And, and I have my wife and two kids and my wife who's great and, you know, is super good at what she does. But, you know, and her English is great, but English is not her first language. And, you know, she knows, you know, obviously even much less than me when it comes to, you know, how to buy a house, how to do taxes, how to get your kids in school, all that kind of stuff that you just kind of have to deal with as an adult here right uh has just been kind of basically just on me because that's just kind of it's easier for me to figure out uh, but uh it certainly has been a difficult adjustment it's just very different you know of course from our life in korea and you know the the stress of the situation has certainly been high a lot of times but you know at the same time like i said we we had we were pretty lucky even though it was like the worst time to buy a house <laughs> the prices were just uh, bad and the selection was very low. The prices were high, I should say, and the selection was low. We were fortunate, you know, to find a, a, a nice house in a really great school district, like right near a really good school. Um, so we were fortunate to find that, you know, we had to get some work done on the house, which we had difficulty with that. Uh, we had a terrible, like, I want to say eight month, to 10 month, eight month, ten, nine, 10 months ordeal with like the company that re that redid our floor was just bad and stressful time for months dealing with that uh like uh it was just a hard time <laughs> with stuff with the with our house and then we had a hurricane last fall too and the hurricane damaged our roof we had to have our roof redone it damaged the fence in the backyard we had to have the fence uh fixed and so it's just been a lot of a lot of stuff uh, going on. But like I said, I know this is stuff, a lot of you guys deal with this. I'm not the only person in the world that that has these kind of issues, but it's been tough. Uh, I'll just tell you guys. Um, so that definitely is something that has been, I'm sure, affecting my work as well. You know, it's hard to come in, especially as a content creator. You know, anytime I'm talking to you guys, I have to be a kind of, you know, animated a little bit kind of you know positive kind of person which i generally am but you know when you're dealing with kind of all this other stuff sometimes it can be hard you don't want to sit down here and get in front of a camera and and talk to people when you just kind of just don't feel like it but you know that's part of the job so you can just kind of have to sometimes so um there's a lot worse jobs to have so i you know it's it's not that bad but you know i'm sure it has certainly affected uh, my work the space here uh like i said again very fortunate very blessed to have a space to do this um but it has been difficult working in this room as well as you guys know one of the main things that has been one of the biggest challenges is just painting uh it's very difficult to paint here in this room uh there's basically like no ventilation there's no windows uh i tried a couple of things and it was just nothing was working uh couldn't get a a good enough spray booth to work uh and so just painting has basically been almost impossible almost like non-existent for the entire like year and a half whatever that i've been here as i'm sure you guys have noticed i haven't really been doing a lot of like uh painted builds custom builds stuff like that a lot of that is just due to the fact that number one uh just painting in this room is very difficult just because of uh the space and a lot of you guys may say well why don't you just paint a home or something like but well i can't really do that either unfortunately because everything's here i would have to take stuff home i don't have a good space at home 
Uh, so that's not feasible. Feasible. I did finally work out a solution for the time being uh, to paint. I have like kind of a paint booth set up like down there, actually like in the warehouse. And that seems to be working pretty well. I've just recently kind of started using that and it works. It's uncomfortable, but it works for the time being. Um, you know, we're waiting for, this is something we've talked about a lot uh, here is that um, USA Gundam store, we're waiting for our new warehouse to be built. It's still not done. So once the new warehouse is built, I'll have uh, not only a larger room, but it'll be more uh, conducive to uh, having a good spray booth there, like actually in my office, and it'll be a much more comfortable situation. So that's something that will uh, improve uh, once we are moved into the warehouse. You know, everybody's just kind of waiting on that, and unfortunately, it's taking a very, very long time. And I feel like I've already kind of been talking uh, long enough, probably, but you know, I don't need to go through down the list and like give you guys every single excuse. Um, kind of about everything, but, you know, just another thing is that another reason why it's kind of been difficult to work on a lot of like uh, custom builds and painted builds, stuff like that, aside from paintings, just the fact that there's a lot of kits uh, that just need to be built and reviewed for you guys. I know a lot of you guys are here for the reviews. You do like the reviews. I know a lot of you do also um, really enjoy the like custom projects and work in progress type of videos and stuff kind of in between that, unfortunately, in the last year and a half or so just kind of have been very few and far between I understand um, just because another reason is like when I was in Korea I would work I told you guys now these days I work maybe like uh, two maybe three nights a week uh, where I'm like putting in some hours at home like at night once the kids and everybody's asleep in Korea it would have been like three three or four three or four probably four um, if not more kind of nights of the week where I was getting some hours in at home at night as well. So working like a full day uh, in my office there doing all the videos and making stuff and sharing that all with you guys. And then like at home at night, once everybody was sleeping, uh, I would put in hours there and I would work later. I would go to bed at like between like two or three in the morning almost every night, like often. So I, w I was either, you know, working on Gunpla stuff or, you know, like hanging out with my wife or doing whatever else, um, just kind of relaxing, hanging out. Here, since we moved, I'm just not able to do that anymore. I don't know what it is about just like Florida or I don't know, I suddenly aged like five, 10 years in the span of a year <laughs> or even just like right after we moved. I mean, like I was able to stay up to like two or three every night. And then now it's like once it gets to be midnight, I'm like super, super duper tired. So like even on the nights when I do work from home here, we're talking like uh, two, three, maybe four hours of work where uh, in Korea, like if I'm working at night, it'd be like uh, easily, you know, four or five hours. Um, so it's more so like I was do working a lot more at night at home in Korea. So that's why I was able to get a lot more of like the work done and all then also spend a lot more time on like uh, custom builds and painted builds and stuff like that. I was able to do more, just kind of more of everything where now I have like less time, uh, to work on everything. So I have to prioritize, you know, um, kits that I'm building for reviews for you guys because otherwise they just like keep stacking up because you know Bandai, Kotobuki, all these companies keep making them and if I don't like attempt to try to keep up I mean they just get out of hand and which is kind of the situation I find myself in at the moment. Uh, so I will be trying to um, really kind of bust through some of these reviews here over the next uh, month, couple months probably uh, just because I'm quite behind at the moment but um, yeah, that is kind of another reason why, you know, why you maybe haven't seen some more of the work in progress type videos, painted build, custom build type videos, uh, just because I haven't had as much time to work on that stuff, haven't been able to paint, and just kind of the, like I said, just kind of general life stress, uh, also just kind of, I still really enjoy what I do, building models, making videos and stuff is great, but as far as like how just kind of like life stress can affect me in this hobby, the biggest impact that it probably has is just on the, uh, not like the creative process, I want to say, but just like wanting to sit down and like spend hours working on decals <laughs> kind of thing, you know, or, you know, spending a lot of time doing all your panel lining and detail painting. And like, these are the things that like, 
And now, just because of like kind of everything that's going on, I'm thinking like, yeah, I really don't want to do that. So, uh, you know, like just snap building a kit, like I said, super therapeutic, meditative. I can just kind of turn my mind off. I'm just building a kit. And it's not necessarily like, uh, you know, putting decals on a kit is like super, you know, thought intensive. I really have to focus on it. But it's just something that I, I have admittedly had less motivation for doing uh, some of like the the custom build kind of processes, I guess, um, just kind of because of everything else that's going on. So I know a question that has been asked uh, a lot since we moved and kind of before we moved and a question that probably a lot of you guys uh, may be having, uh, and I've talked about it before, I've answered it before, but just to kind of uh, address that again, and kind of, I think I'm going to be wrapping up the video here in just a minute, but uh, people have asked like, why did you move? Or like, why are we moving back to America anyway? And um, yeah, I mean, like why put ourselves uh, in this situation where, I, like I said, it has been quite stressful at, at times and, and everything else. Uh, the main reason why we moved was for our kids. So um, growing up in Korea, there's there's pros and cons, certainly, to the school systems in Korea and here in the U.S., uh, and I won't get too in deep with that. I could probably do a whole like 20 minute video on like the pros and cons of the school systems here and there. Because as a lot of you guys know, uh, before I started doing this full time, I was a teacher there in Korea. So, you know, I was I spent a lot of time uh, in the school system there and I know it pretty well. Uh, while there's pros and cons, uh, elementary school, I feel like, in Korea is great. Um, but once you get up into middle school, high school, um, as you guys may know, kind of about just like the study system there, kids are just like studying super hard all day long, which you may think, oh, what's so bad about that? But, you know, the downside is that they don't really get as much time to just be kids. And high schoolers don't get as much time to just kind of be teenagers and like kind of go through all the normal stuff. I feel like it's kind of normal things that teenagers should go through, should experience as kind of the process of, you know, growing into a self-sufficient adult, right? Um, and so we didn't really like that, especially the uh, like middle high school education system there in Korea in particular is uh, particularly grueling there for students and just not the kind of situation that we wanted to put our kids through. Um, and like I said, I know there's issues here in the U.S. as well. Uh, but the other thing is just the fact of the language. So, you know, growing up in Korea, obviously, um, they would still know English because we would use English at home. They'll study English at school. So English, they would still have it as a second language. Uh, but having English as your native language, which even though the Korean was their first language for my kids, um, basically English is their native language uh, as well, just because we've always spoke that at home too. And now they primarily speak English while they're still maintaining their Korean a little bit, which is good. And we're going to try to keep that up uh, so that they can still have that as their second language. English will be their primary language. They'll be native English speakers. And um, I mean, like in the world these days, in an ever shrinking world, you know, having English as your native language uh, allows you so many more opportunities in the world. Uh, being a native English speaker, you know, it, that's what allowed me to go to Korea in the first place, just basically because of my, my qualifications were I had a four year degree and native, uh, I was a native English speaker. And that's kind of really it. So like, just having that as a qualification, I mean, allows you to do so much in the world uh, these days. And then, of course, obviously going into the future as well. I mean, like everyone needs to speak English. Uh, so you know, fortunately or unfortunately, whatever your thoughts are about that, but you know, that's just kind of the way it is. So because of that, we wanted them to, you know, grow up as native English speakers, just because of the opportunities that will give them uh, the expanded opportunities that will give them as adults. Uh, and also to to grow up in an environment, um, you know, where they're not you know forced to study 10 hours a day, or, you know, forced or highly encouraged to study 10 hours a day or looked down upon if they're not spending 10 hours studying uh, every day, kind of uh, like how how it is in Korea. Uh, and also just a like multicultural environment as well. Because, you know, Korea, very homogenous. It's 99%, you know, Korean uh, or like maybe it might be 98. I might be. It's anyway, it's right around. It's all Korean. They're just all Koreans all the time. Whereas, you know, here they're growing up, you know, in the melting pot of America, which there's a lot uh, to say about that. Certainly, you know, um, it's good, you know, to be around people that are a lot of different people are all different from you and it teaches you a lot. And so uh, we wanted them to grow up in that environment as well. So while for my wife and I, you know, staying in Korea, 
uh, probably would have been our choice just for us, just because it's more convenient. You know, the cost of living is better. Um, just kind of, there's a lot of things that I miss about Korea. I will tell you guys, I have had um, regrets uh, about moving kind of at times and certainly many, many times urges to just want to move back to Korea. Uh, yeah, uh, just to be completely honest with you guys, uh, there's been so many times when I've just really wanted to just go back to Korea. Uh, but, you know, it's for our kids that we're here. And so, you know, we're making the best of it. And, um, you know, I'm saying it about like kind of how stressful it's been and all that, focusing on the negative, which I don't really, you know, enjoy doing, which is another reason why I didn't want to make this video because I feel like it's just focusing on the negative stuff. Um, but there has been a lot of positive, positive stuff too, um, you know, uh, about being here. Obviously, being here in Florida, we've been going to the beach a lot, which is great. You know, I love going to the beach. I love spending a lot of time outdoors, especially for the kids who spend a lot of time outdoors, uh, you know, with the kind of hot to hot to warm weather all year round, you know, the time that we've been here, we spend a lot of time outside with the kids and everything, which is great. I like that the kids spend a lot of time outside. Uh, my son loves reading. He's just super into reading. So I'm glad, you know, that he loves that. That's awesome. My daughter is just kind of like just starting to learn how to read kind of. Uh, and so, you know, hopefully they're uh, just doing well. They're, I'm just glad to see that they're uh, doing well here, uh, which is great. So that kind of makes it all worthwhile. Just the fact that, you know, I see that they're doing well, because like I said, that was our main reason for moving. So um, anyway, I feel like I can come kind of can wind down the video basically at this point. Uh, but just kind of wanted to talk about that just so you guys kind of know about like what's going on. Kind of, I know that there has been a concern with like the content here on my channel. I know, like I said, that a lot of you guys do like the reviews and everything else that I've been primarily focusing on uh, for the past year or so. But I know that there certainly ha also has been a lot of lament from people uh, that I've not been doing as many kind of work in progress type videos, a custom build type, uh, varied kind of content like that, uh, tutorial type videos and things like that. And you know, for the reasons that I've been talking about in this video, hopefully now you guys kind of have a little bit better understanding as to kind of why that is. It's something that I hope, you know, to get back to more in the future, but it's just kind of taking some time, uh, honestly, just kind of the whole moving and adjustment process. I feel like we're kind of just now, especially now that my wife's starting to work full time, you know, once we're through this situation, feel like will also just kind of help to just kind of get us into a kind of, you know, finally sort of settle down normalcy kind of situation. I already kind of felt like we were kind of getting into that, but, you know, and then like something like this happens. So, you know, once it's kind of like now kind of settling down, hopefully uh, we'll be moved into the new warehouse soon. That will certainly help a lot just with like the what I'm able to do with you guys here on the channel, doing more custom build and work in progress type stuff like and all like that, that I know that um, a lot of you guys would like to see me um, get back to a lot of that stuff. Once we're moved into the new warehouse, that will certainly be something that I can uh, uh, work on more often and more easily. So uh, for now, you know, all of your guys is support and patience is way more appreciated than you know. You know, so for all of you who, do continue to watch and continue to support me, um, whether it be just by watching the videos, you know, liking, commenting, subscribing, all that kind of, you know, uh, typical YouTube stuff. You know, it does help, you know, um, that is all, you know, important to, you know, success of creators, um, especially uh, my supporters on Patreon as well. Um, those guys are incredible, incredibly patient with me in like kind of you know, what I'm able to give back to them specifically in terms of kind of rewards and stuff. Uh, so just super, super thankful for them. Uh, and anybody who also like has uh, bought merch as well. I mean, like that's kind of a, just kind of a small thing, but I mean like anything that you guys are doing, you know, if you're even just watching the video right now, anything that you're doing to help support me, uh, I do really appreciate. It. And I don't, show it enough. Uh, I feel like I don't really, um, I don't know really how to show it more. I don't know, but I just hope that you guys do know that it is really appreciated. I uh, hope that you enjoy, 
the content. Hopefully that you enjoy, you know, when we do do um, kind of more community related content as well. Contests, especially when we have contests, um, new contests will be starting soon. Uh, and I hope that you guys have been enjoying uh, in being uh, involved with those if you have been involved with those or maybe you will in future ones of course we'll have plenty more coming but anyway uh thanks for being here and yeah that's it for this video see you guys